We got runners coming up to, from the other side. Got it. And a bike. We're gonna take a pretty sharp left up here. Then we straighten out. Okay. And we stay straight. Okay. And we just keep running. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. For 26.2 yeah. yeah. miles. <laughs> Nigel Willerton and I'm a guy. I'm Trini Aguirre and I'm a guy. I'm Tracy Minish and I'm a runner. <laughs> Visually impaired runner. Team with a Vision has brought an enormous awareness of the capabilities of those with vision loss. Team with a Vision started uh, almost 20 years ago. It raises valuable money that supports the Massachusetts Association for the Blind. In 1993, it really started then, there was a gentleman by the name of Ed Powell. He was a volunteer at MAB, and he ran as a bandit in 1993 just to raise money for MAB. And the following year, a woman by the name of Pam Fernandez decided to formalize a team with a vision. They're promoting a message that I think is going to be a really important message for the public, which is that disabled athletes are capable of competing on the same level as any other athlete. My name is Aaron Scheides, and this will be my third marathon. I have um, juvenile macular degeneration, so I've been losing my vision since about second grade. I knew I had a condition or something going on from about the time I was seven, and then progressed slowly up until my mid-30s. Really had to give up just about everything I was doing that was visually oriented. My name is Connie DiMercurio, that's a mouthful, and Dan and I have been together for going on, it'll be three years in September. To get to be able to run with Dan and give him the ability to run long distances and do races like this, it's just, um, it, it makes me feel good about running and running for me, especially at my age, can be very self-serving. You spend a lot of time doing something for yourself. I've always had a desire to help other people and to bring other people into the joy of running and so that's what I love so much about it. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the fourth annual BAA 5K. Boy do I have a special treat for those. Of you. The blindfold challenge is People with sight are going to uh, blindfold themselves and have guides uh, along with them to build awareness about being visually impaired. The BAA is excited to host you know, that this year and um, it's, it'll be a learning experience for I think everyone. I probably never would have taken that opportunity on my own to run blindfolded. It meant a lot for me to put myself in a situation to be able to see what Dan goes through and what other visually impaired runners have to deal with. Great job, everybody. You're doing great. So I've tried running with my eyes closed before. I took maybe 15 steps, and then all of a sudden I was like falling off the road. I'm Lisa Wolk, and I fundraise to be a sighted runner on Team with a Vision. I feel so privileged to be in the same room as those guys. Yeah, Is that Brian right there? Yeah. Oh, wait, do you want to go jog for a few? Sure. After you became visually impaired, why did you decide to become a runner? My kids were getting older, and I wanted to get out and do something so I could stay active with them and for myself, so that I could either approach my 40s on, kind of wishing I was doing more, or just get out and start doing some things. I'm proud of the fact that instead of choosing like, oh, I can sit here and go like, oh, I can't do anything, and like, basically be sad, he's like, oh, hey, I can run marathons and be awesome. Every athlete with a disability looks at the him or herself as an athlete first. We, um, we don't necessarily think about how others view us. We're there to compete like everyone else. <laughs> I actually always wanted to be a professional soccer player when I was uh, when I had full vision and and uh, once you uh, can't see the ball very well, it's hard to play soccer. Really, endurance sports and running and swimming became my outlet. Good job.
great, guys. You're great. Come on, Phil! You're great, runners. For me to be on team with a vision, it's it's amazing for me to be here with other runners that are going through the same thing that I go through. It's a great organization, but a great um, tool for a lot of vision impaired athletes or individuals because it's hard to find uh, groups or, or know that there's these opportunities out there. Having somebody that can tell you what you're going along, um, just making my dreams become possible so I can keep running. My name is Joyce. Brita. I benefit from the efforts of the runners because the money they raise goes to the um, programs of Mass Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, particularly the volunteer program. My name is Eleanor Leach. I have been a member of the MAB support group for about 16 years. I have gotten a great deal out of MAB and we need you, we really do, in order to keep helping people like us with macular degeneration. That's another thing that I love about running for a team with a vision is that, you know, it's, I, I can see the effect of that and I can see the community that um, my efforts are going to help. I'm awed by them, I really am. They are providing money for a program that I use, but they don't even use the program. And I, I think that is something very, very special. But you want to feel like you can run without worrying. And, and that's what they give me, that confidence. I really like the ability to just get out and just let other things kind of melt away. Team of the Vision is just touching so many uh, parts of the country and that people know that we're the team that they want to come to. <laughs> it educates society about people with uh, visual impairments just by seeing them out there. Because my legs work fine. It's just having someone to do the part that I can't do. So, so that, I think they are amazing. Their hearts are, are so big and loving to do this. It's, um, uh, I just thank them so much. I uh, thank Mab for being there. Over and out. <laughs>